All right, guys, how do you like my new shirt? I picked it up today. Um, Louis Taggart was having a sale on his way out of Eugene. It's got the nice Taggart motto, do nothing. He even signed it down here at the bottom, uh, signed it LDW. I had to do some digging on that. I figured out it means uh, Little Dick Willie, his nickname that he picked up in Eugene while he was there. Uh, don't ask me. I, I just I just am here as a fan um, reporting what I know. Uh, Little Dick Willie. Oh, man. We were so excited. So excited. 4 and 8, bring in, sell us on, you're going to recruit well, you're going to bring in a good defensive coordinator, you really love what you see here, you think you can win a national championship, you leaped at the opportunity. You didn't jump, you leaped at the opportunity to coach here. Great. Love everything we're hearing. Absolutely awesome. And then, then we get the number one recruiting class in the nation. I mean, top five over the whole board. Everybody says we have a top five recruiting class. We go seven and five. Fantastic season after four and eight. You even lose Justin Herbert for five games, and you happen to win one of them. And if it weren't for that injury, who the hell knows what happens. You have a Heisman Trophy candidate, a quarterback, coming back. You have a top five recruiting class nationally coming back. You have all the fan base behind you. You have swag surfing. You have all the money you could want for facilities, for assistance, for satellite camps, whatever you want, you can have it. Because Uncle Phil knows it takes money to win championships. That's why he paid you what he paid you. But you, oh no, you, God, you're better than all of that, aren't you? You wanted to say, yep, no thanks. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to deal with this tire fire now. Because we were bad at 4-8. and eight. Let's just all be real. We were bad at 4-8. and eight. But now he wants to leave all that momentum and go and start anew at another tire fire. Because let's just all be real. What has Florida State done since Jameis has left? Nothing. Just like us. They want to boast like they're big and bad and they're Florida State and they're the best job and this and this and chirpy, 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 chirpy when they haven't done diddly since their quarterback left, just like we have. And that, that's fine. Nothing against that. But you cannot tell me that Florida State excites you that much more than Oregon because... Looking at what Oregon has coming back and looking at what Florida State has, I, I think it's pretty pretty even. Maybe the edge goes to Oregon because the quarterback for Florida State got hurt at the beginning of this year, and you just don't know really what he's going to be after the injury. So, And I mean recruiting class, we have a better recruiting class. All he would have had to do was stay put. But no, he has to lie and snake his way to his dream job and it's not that he left because I could have seen it three or four years down the road I could have seen it then you know maybe you win a title you win Pac-12 championships you go to the playoff a few times and maybe you get close but not quite there who knows it doesn't matter but after one year you snake your way to a Florida State gig he used us let's just be honest he used us and that's cool that's fine, but let's just call a spade a spade and say what it was. Let's just not pretend. Why do we have to lie to recruits, lie to their families, lie to the media, you know, dink and dunk around questions that you obviously don't know the answer to? You know, I'm not even really that mad at Coach Taggart because, like I said, I could have seen him leaving. Just the when he left after one year and how he left. Shitty all-around dick move and that's why forever I will root against him I didn't like Florida State before which I it, it was kind of hit or miss with me I could give or take Florida State but now but now I will love to watch them fail because without a good deep coordinator which he might not get Levitt we're still waiting I I don't know about Willie I don't know we'll see I mean God, it, it, it is what it is. It's college football. But Jesus, one year? And you, it's not like 
one year and we were bad and it wasn't looking real bright and it was kind of shaky and we didn't know is it going to work out is it not going to work out this was obvious we were headed in the right direction and you bailed and you fucking bailed and that's why to me it just is so mind-boggling what like what never mind i'm never gonna understand it you'll always be in my doghouse lily here's what oregon needs to do now here's again how you save the program. Deja vu. Rob, here's how you save the program. Again, and it's not fair to Rob Mullins that he has to go out now and he made what looked to be like a home run hire last year. And now to ask Rob to go out and make another good hire in two years, it's not fair. So I'm not going to really hold this hire to Rob. Granted, it depends on how bad the hire is. Because I'm not expecting to get a great hire here. Let's just all be real a moment. I'm not expecting to get a great hire here. Who knows? It could work out in our favor. We don't know. But they named Mario Cristobal interim. That tells me that they're not either A, Levitt is gone, and they're they're not able to offer him a head coach, or B, they don't want to bring him on as head coach. They just want to keep him D coordinator, and they want to maybe promote Crystal Ball, which is fine. A lot of players have backed that, and I will too. Or they're going to go outside the, the program again, which I would be for. Kevin Sumlin, Lane Kiffin, uh, Mike Norvell, though he just signed an extension with Memphis today. So we'll see about that. The crazier things have happened. Um, Justin Wilcox, so he seems pretty happy at Cal. We'll see. Um, yeah, Kevin Sumlin's offense with Jim Levitt's defense, is that an awful thing to end up with? Same thing with Lynn Kiffin's offense. Is that an awful thing to end up with if you have Jim Levitt's defense? I think we could do a lot worse, Duck fans. Call me crazy. Call me what you want. But Kevin Sumlin or Lane Kiffin... With Jim Levitt's defense, I mean, call me crazy, but, I mean, it doesn't suck on paper. Um, let me know what you think. As always, go Ducks, fuck Willie Taggart, and I'll see you when we get a coach. Oh, Boise State. Love that we're playing Boise State. Bring on all the blunt punch jokes. Bring it on. I hope LeGarrett's at the stadium. I hope he's an honorary captain. That would just make it amazing. As always, though, go Ducks.